Hey guys, welcome to Tuesday Connections. Today is Tuesday, July the 27th. Yesterday was July the 1st. Today is the 27th. Tomorrow is October. <laughs> it's coming quick. The grace and peace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen. Uh, it is coming quick. We, we sat around a staff meeting this morning just talking about what's happening in the life of Eastminster. And I got to tell you, there's a lot going on. I want to tell you a little bit about it. Um, before I do that, I just want to share with you that, uh, you know, God is doing some really awesome things. And it's, it's really interesting when he's sharing or revealing the same message to us over and over and over. And I, I'll talk about that in a minute. So announcements today. We're starting, uh, our prayer ministry is starting a prayer vigil, a back-to-school prayer vigil that will start on Monday, August the 2nd. That is next Monday. Uh, it will be set up in the sanctuary. The sanctuary will be open from 8.30 to 4 each and every day, wide open for you to come and take part. There will be stations at each window for you to come and pray for our students, pray for our teachers, pray for our schools, pray for our preschool and all the families that are ministered to through the, the work of our Eastminster Christian Preschool. It is an opportunity to just come together in your own time. It's a very private uh, vigil, and so find some time to just drop by the church and work through the different stations. We're going to leave the stations up on August the 8th, uh, just so that you can see, because a lot of times we do these prayer vigils, and it's such a beautiful thing. But a lot of folks don't get a chance to see it or to participate. We want you to participate. And so uh, come out between August the 2nd and August the 11th and spend some time in prayer for our schools and our students and our community. Coming up on August the 8th, we've been talking about this the last few weeks. I want this to be a big event on your calendar. It is our Welcome Back Sunday. Now, we don't want it just to be one Sunday. It is kind of like, I keep talking like it's a, it's a wedding. You know, it's a big event, but the wedding's only the first day of the marriage, right? So, uh, Welcome Back Sunday is a big event, but we want it to be the first day of resetting our routines. COVID really threw us for a loop and maybe we just blame it on COVID and uh, maybe we just didn't have that routine to begin with either way. Uh, whatever your situation is, we want August the 8th to be a reset, to be the first day of uh, a new routine of coming and being a part of worship every week. It's important. The Bible tells us how important it is to be together, to encourage one another, to worship together, to grow, and not just for ourselves, but to give of ourselves. To, to uh, We all have spiritual gifts to offer to others. And so we're going to be talking about that in the month of August as we focus on our new mission statement, E4. Our mission statement is uh, that we exist to make disciples of Jesus Christ by engaging community, equipping believers, empowering servants, and extending our reach to the world. And so that is the mission of Eastminster as we become a church for the community. Welcome back Sunday, August the 8th. On that day, we'll have two services, our regular 9 1115 service. We will have a potluck lunch after the 1115 service. So if you come to the 9 o'clock service, you can either help set up or run home and get your goodies and bring them back for lunch. We want everyone to be here that day and uh, just to have fellowship. We're, gonna have, uh, we're launching our small group signups that day, small groups are coming this fall. And if we're going to hear more information about small groups uh, coming up in the next couple of weeks, and that signups will begin on that day. Also, you'll have an opportunity to sign up for uh, one of our ministry teams that, that are looking for volunteers. And so, lots of ways to get involved, and uh, all of that is coming. We do have one very special and important announcement that I'm not going to tell you about until August the 8th. But it's very exciting, and you'll want to be here for that announcement. So that's that's the cliffhanger. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm laying it out for you. It's a softball. Y'all come and hear it, and it's going to be exciting. Finally, as far as announcements goes, uh, August the 15th, which is the following week, that'll be our first day of promoting to our new Sunday school classes. Our students will be going who are uh, um, being promoted. <laughs> Hopefully all our students are being promoted. We'll be going to their next grade level uh, class, and so... That will happen on August the 15th. We'll also be presenting Bibles to our third graders. And so if you have a third grade student and they're interested in participating in the third grade Bible presentation, you can contact Kelly Fry, kelly.fry at eprez.org. It's her email address. And uh, we'll make sure that your student is involved in that. 
Like I said, we have talked a lot recently, especially as we walk through 1 Samuel on Sunday mornings, how these repeating themes keep coming up about, you know, not, not feeling good enough or, or equipped enough, and yet God calls us to do certain things or, you know, being, being available and God's grace being there even when we make mistakes. And it's, it's themes like that that keep coming up. And, I, and I'll tell you, in my, in my personal life and in my personal devotions, the theme, and, I, and it works its way into my messages as well, but the theme of hearing God's voice keeps coming up. You know, at the beginning of Samuel, we saw where Samuel heard the voice of the Lord, uh, not Samuel, yeah, Samuel, heard the voice of the Lord, went to Eli, you know, what you called me, what is it? And Eli finally gets it and tells Samuel, you know, next time he speaks, you say, speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. And I just got to thinking of how many of us don't have that experience. How many of us don't have the experience of really getting a sense of God's Maybe not God's audible voice. I, I think there are few people that hear an audible voice, but at least the very sense of his spirit leading us and understanding that he wants us to do certain things or he wants us to stop doing certain things and, and, and being, being able to discern that this is God giving us direction. And, uh, and I've, been, I've been reading this book um, by Dallas Willard, on hearing God, which no wonder I keep, uh, this theme keeps coming up, but it's also coming up in the Bible study that I'm doing in um, Experiencing God, and we're going to be working through Experiencing God in our Wednesday night pastor study coming up. But one of the, uh, one of the encouragements that I have had recently, and that I want to encourage you with today, is if you have a sense that I'm not, I'm not sure I hear God, I'm not sure if He's really there, I'm not sure how to be led by the Holy Spirit, the encouragement I want to give you today is to ask him. Ask him. You know, God, what are you trying to say to me? Are you leading me? Are you really there? Uh, the Bible says in Hebrews chapter 11, it says, It is impossible to please God without faith. Uh, anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. Earnestly seek him. The Bible says, seek and you shall find, knock and the door will be opened to you, ask and it will be given. And so it is on us to seek the Lord. And, and, and when we do, when we say, God, are you there? Uh, oftentimes, and, and I would say it's almost, almost foolproof that God is going to give you some direction. Uh, God is going to give you some kind of leading, some kind of uh, unction of, of what needs to happen next in, in your life. There's never a silence. Uh, sometimes it feels like silence, but there's always something there. And uh, that's, that's part of what it means to grow in our faith. And so I want you to hear God's voice. I want you to be led by the Holy Spirit. This is the stuff of Christianity. You know, this is the stuff of, of faith. And so be encouraged today. Dear friends, God is on the move. God is doing really good things in our community, and I want you to be a part of it. So look forward to seeing you on August the 8th at our Welcome Back Sunday. God bless.